Will the European Parliament help speed up climate protection in road transport? Or will they lead Europe into new dependencies for raw materials? By focusing on tailpipe emissions only, the current EU regulation on CO2 emission standards ignores emissions from a vehicle's full life cycle. That makes no sense. The solution is simple. For a more effective climate policy, we need a crediting system that counts CO2 emission savings from renewable fuels for new vehicles. This will also allow the existing vehicle fleet to pay its part in climate protection. And the more carbon-neutral fuels will be brought to market, the sooner the phase-out of fossil fuels can start. Suppliers and manufacturers agree with us, but scientists do too. E-fuels make sense for cars. They complement e-mobility to speed up the decarbonisation of road transport. Here is how. Sustainable biofuels and e-fuels can be blended with conventional fuels. If produced at scale, e-fuels will be an affordable alternative for consumers, while prices for fossil fuels will increase. Scientific research shows that e-fuels emit significantly fewer toxic chemicals in combustion engines than fossil fuels. Produced in regions with high solar and wind energy supply, e-fuels will unlock the global potential of renewable energy. With e-fuels, renewable energy can be stored and transported around the world. While diverse energy partnerships make sense for Europe, a sole focus on battery electric vehicles won't. It will only create new dependencies on countries like China for the supply of resources for batteries. Using e-fuels in road transport is an opportunity to decarbonize other sectors as well, such as shipping and aviation. Alongside battery electric vehicles, e-fuels are the key to achieving sustainable mobility. That's why e-fuels do make sense for road transport. With a vote in favor of a technology mix, we can make this happen.